Hello, my name is Elizabeth Goddard from Revive Your Soul. I've put together a glossary of terms that you might, or words that you might hear as you're healing from or recovering from a, an emotionally abusive relationship. So I'm on I, I for idealization, intuition, and isolation. So idealization is the first stage of the cycle of abuse. It is the love bombing stage. It's where you're showered with gifts. You're told how amazing you are. You're given the attention you may never have give, been given um, ever before. You're swept off your feet with compliments. Everything about you is amazing. Um, gifts, days out, meals out, um, and everything. This is all deliberate. This is all a deliberate act. They may, you may wake up to text messages in the morning. Um, so you're the first thing that they, uh, they are, sorry, they are the first thing that you think about and they might end the day on text messages as well. So you go to, go to sleep uh, dreaming, dreaming about them or, you know, they're on your mind as you're, as you're um, going into that uh, uh, sleep cycle. Um, it's completely deliberate. You're, they're manufacturing and putting themselves into uh, a place of being a soulmate. They are your soulmate. You are the only person that's ever, ever understood them and uh, gets them on so many different levels. And th it's at this stage that you start to hear about their um, the awful childhood that they might have experienced. It might be uh, awful relationships that they've been through. Um, and they're starting to put you in this place and put you on a pedestal. So this is what the idealization is for. It's to put you in this place of security and eventually what they're doing is they're looking to take control and take uh, to control and power over your life um, because basically they are insecure. Uh, this is where you'll be f making your fake future um, during this stage and, um, and, and you might see these red flags during this stage but you write them off because how could this amazing person, um, or they've got a brilliant excuse for, for, for their behavior, but they're, they're, you might see the little crack in the mask or the mask might drop because they are playing a role. They have listened to everything that's important to you. They have understood what you like, your needs and, and, um, and your own insecurities where you're insecure. And they have created a persona and they've put on a mask and they're playing that. So intuition, so we have built in, it's ancient, a warning signal, a, a warning system within our bodies. And it's a gut feeling. You might think, oh, I've got a gut feeling that I should be doing something. I've got a gut feeling I shouldn't be doing something. This doesn't feel right. That is your gut telling you. It's an ancient warning system and sometimes, uh, and in these relationships particularly, um, uh, when the devaluation is going on, is that you might pick something up and your intuition tells you that isn't right, and that doesn't feel right. What they're saying doesn't, doesn't match up with you know, what's going on. And, uh, and they'll tell you that you put it wrong, I didn't mean that, it was only a joke, whatever it is that they, they do, and you start to squish down your intuition okay, maybe it isn't working, maybe I've got it wrong. Yeah, they're saying this, they're doing that, maybe that's why. And this is the intuition, it's the gut, it's the red flags that you pick up and you see. And three times, I, I believe, you know, it's usually about three times that you've um, seen or, or felt something isn't right and you've challenged it and, and, they've, and you've been given an excuse and you've overridden your, um, uh, you've overridden your intuition and it's at that three point. A lot of people give people three chances. I give them a third chance. But really, if you think about it, why, if, if, you've, if they have understood who you are and understood um, everything about you, they would then acknowledge that what their behavior isn't, isn't acceptable to you and they should stop doing it. So really two should be uh, the point, you know, okay, maybe they didn't understand. We give, why, by the time we've done three and we've forgiven three, by the time you've done three and you've forgiven three, they've, your, your boundaries are, are smashed absolutely smashed and uh and they, they've they've got the key they're in and uh and they're occupying your life
So that's intuition, now that's your early warning sign, it's your sign that something isn't right, it's that, it's in your stomach, it's that gut feeling. And isolation. So when we become isolated, when, uh, when you're isolated from friends and family, there are various different stages. Now, if you think about the start of your relationship when you were telling everybody how amazing this person is, and then you've got these little tiny red flags, you've got this intuition telling you something doesn't quite feel right. You might isolate yourself or they might isolate you. They might um, creates what they're frightened of is they're frightened of you talking to someone and they're frightened of you telling people what's going on within the relationship so that they then highlight to you this doesn't sound healthy this sounds these you know these sound like uh doesn't sound right what what's going on um they cannot risk um the that you speaking to somebody else because they would then be unmasked to the person they might make up or um, they might tell you stories or or under, uh, get you to really believe that the, the other people within your family or your friend group, friendship groups um, uh, aren't trustworthy. They're the ones that, that you should be um, trusting. So this is when their mask drops. You know that something isn't quite right, but you're addicted to this relationship. Um, you might isolate yourself because you don't want other people to, um, to tell you that you shouldn't be in this relationship, to tell you what's wrong with this other person and to tell you what's going on. So there's, it's, there's a couple, you might find you've come out of the uh, relationship and you feel isolated because you have rejected friends and family who want to help you, who are there, but you didn't try, you were put in a position and, and told and given information and and told not to trust them, um, told that, the, that the, the abuser was the person that you should be trusting. And, and so they're putting themselves in the power and control area. And um, when, they, when, they, they, when their mask is dropping and they, you are no longer um, any use to them, your, your supply is weak now because there's not a lot left of you. Um, you've been sucked um dementors kiss is maybe one i will add you know being sucked like uh, uh in harry potter and i've got i've written a blog about this that the the, the, the um you there's not a lot left of you your soul has been sucked out of you so it might be you're isolated you've isolated yourself from family and friends because you were told not to trust them uh, and um fed information or you've isolated yourself because you were frightened that if you said anything or people saw what was really going on um you know you'd be giving this drug up because you are hooked like an addict to this relationship and that's where the healing that's where it's really important to, to do the real inner inner core inner work um, and heal yourself